Guys, pretty big announcement. If you have TeamViewer installed on your computer, it's a really popular program. Before you do anything else, uninstall it right now. Before you watch the rest of this video, because there have been tons of reports just flooding in thousands of reports of users who have TeamViewer installed and hackers have been remoting into their computer, logging into PayPal, from automatically filled password fields, logging into Amazon, buying Amazon gift cards, draining bank accounts, and no one is really sure how they're doing it yet. TeamViewer is putting the blame on overused passwords, people who have been hacked on other sites, like the massive breaches on other social media sites, they're saying that they're just reused passwords, and some users are saying they had unique passwords or even had two-factor authentication on TeamViewer and they still got hacked. So until anyone figures out what's going on, it's important to uninstall TeamViewer and I'm gonna tell you how you can check to see if you might have been hacked yourself. All right, now at this point, I'm gonna assume you have TeamViewer uninstalled just to be safe. Now apparently, the only people who have really been hacked are people who had TeamViewer accounts. If you just had the free version without an account or you never signed up for a username and password, you probably are okay, but it's still important to stick around and we'll go over for you as well to check the logs. If you did have an account, this is extremely important, especially if you had TeamViewer starting up with Windows, it's very possible that someone remoted into your account without you knowing. First, we need to check out the log files. Even after you uninstall TeamViewer, they get left behind so you can see what was going on. They're gonna be in the install directory, for example, C program files, TeamViewer, and then there are gonna be at least two different uh, log files. One's gonna be incoming connections, another one is gonna be TeamViewer 11 logs. You wanna open up both and take a look. The incoming connections log is gonna show you a list of all the computers that connected to your computer. So if you see anything you don't recognize or unknown computers or anything that's not associated with your account, it's possible you got hacked. And in a bit, I'm also gonna show you how you can see where those connections came from from the TeamViewer website. Uh, the next log is gonna show you more details about each session that connected. And one thing you definitely wanna do is open this up in Notepad and do a control F search for the string webbrowserpassview.exe. This is apparently a program that a lot of the hackers are using to get a list of any passwords you have saved in your web browser. If you use LastPass or KeePass, these are third party extensions, you should be okay, but if you see this string appear in your log, it definitely means that someone remoted in your computer and you got hacked. So if you see that string web browser pass view in that log, you did get hacked. You're gonna wanna change all your passwords. You can actually download web browser pass view, that program, and you'll be able to see what passwords that hacker saw when they ran it themselves. Also in this log, you can see for each connection, the IP, so you can look that up as well. And there should be some line breaks between each connection. If, as you scroll down, it should be pretty apparent that there are different sections for each connection. Next, we're gonna log into the TeamViewer website and see where any connections came from. So you wanna log in and then go to the top right and click Profile. And then on the left-hand side, you're gonna see Active Logons. And this is gonna show you a list of the locations of different remote connections. If everything looks as you would expect, all from the United States and local areas, you're probably okay. But if you see anything from China or other countries, you probably, you definitely got hacked. So that is another instance where you need to change your password, check your bank account, check Amazon for recent orders. There have been some reports where people had Amazon orders placed and then they went through their email and deleted any emails from Amazon so people couldn't see that the orders were placed. So after you do all that, you've checked the logs, you've checked the connections, you probably should have a good idea of whether you, your account was accessed or not. Like I said before, from what I've been reading, only people who actually signed up for an account with TeamViewer are affected, but it's still good to check those logs Anyway, I think this is another good opportunity to point out why two-factor authentication is so important on your bank accounts, especially your email. As I mentioned before, apparently some people have been saying even if they had unique passwords on TeamViewer and two-factor authentication on there, they still got hacked, so we're not really sure what the problem is here. But in any case, 
you should have it set on your bank accounts, especially any account that has access to your money. You should have it set to do two-factor authentication on every login. And for those of you who use LastPass, such as myself, this is another reason why you should not have the password stored locally. Even though it's a little bit more in inconvenient, stuff like this can happen. Also in LastPass and other password managers, they usually have a setting where if you want to view any password or view multiple passwords in your vault, you have to type in your master password by default, you should enable that as well. Now today, TeamViewer actually announced two new security features. The first one will make you verify any new connections from computers that you haven't connected to before, which I think is a no-brainer. Why haven't they had this before? And then another one is an alert if there has been unusual activity. Again, why were these features not implemented long ago? How convenient they released this just after the hacks. These attacks have apparently been going on for a couple weeks now and are still going on, so if you haven't uninstalled it yet, do it now. I am lucky enough to have uninstalled it about a month ago because I realized I wasn't really using it. I am so glad I did because I did have an account and I did have it start up with Windows. I probably would have got hacked. So this is pretty much all I know about this hack right now. If I find out anything more, I'll let you guys know. I do want to tell you about another website that's really useful. It's called haveibeenowned.com. Basically, you type in your email and it's going to search any known databases of hacked email and password accounts and it'll tell you if that email is in there and you can actually subscribe so if your email account shows up in any public breaches, you'll get an email notification to tell you if that account got hacked. I did make a video about it. I'll put that on the right hand side as well as another security video with two-factor authentication. If you guys want to check those out, you can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. If you guys want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday at least, so I think it should be worth it to subscribe. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either here on YouTube or on Twitter. Let me know what you think about this. Have you gotten hacked? Did you not even know about it? Did you go through these logs and see it? Let us all know. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.